Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, um, how am I gonna do this? So, I literally filmed a video of me making blueberry muffins and I edited the whole thing and it was such a good video. And then today I um, switched to my new phone and I lost the video. So, I don't have that video. And it was good. Anyway, so I'm just gonna be redoing it now. But instead of blueberry muffins, I'm gonna make cupcakes. And the recipe I'm using is different than the way I'm gonna be using it. It's for just normal chocolate cupcakes with strawberry or raspberry frosting. But um, I made it the other day and the frosting, frosting, the frosting congealed kind of. So. I don't really want it, want that to happen again. Um, but in preparation for me to make the cupcakes and the frosting, I bought some piping bags because piping bags are what you use. And anyway, the piping bags have vanilla frosting in them. So then I just had to use Ziplocs, which is fine. But now I just have two full bags of vanilla frosting. So since the icing congealed or the frosting congealed the first time I made those cupcakes, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use the vanilla frosting and I'm gonna use the raspberry jam that I brought or that I bought to make the frosting. I'm gonna use that and kind of like inject it into the cupcakes and then frost it with the vanilla frosting I have. Um, luckily, the, uh, luckily, the cupcake recipe that I have is a really good cupcake recipe and it makes for really even cupcakes and they look really good when they're baked so i'm gonna use that recipe and just not make the frosting um and i'll include a link down in the description to the recipe because it's really good so i preheated the oven to 350 and i printed out the instructions next is to sift the cocoa powder um, and add boiling water. Um, I actually, actually bought a sifter just for this recipe um, because you can use sifters for other things, but I'm excited to use my sifter. I, I've already used one before. There's one at my dad's, but anyway. Um, first, I'm gonna do the cocoa powder in boiling water. I'm gonna do that. I really think I should invest in a tripod. I used to have one, but then I gave it to my dad I gave it to my dad after quitting YouTube because I never used it and he uses it for golf. Uh, I have my cocoa powder here. I'm um, oh should I show you my bowl too? How do I show both? Like me and this. Whatever. Um you know what you're fine. You're fine. I'm gonna get the cocoa. I'm gonna do a heaping scoop because what's gonna happen? And sift it. I don't know why this cocoa powder has so many clumps in it, but it does, and it's really annoying. Like there's, and the clumps are so hard that like even the fork doesn't do it. Look at the water. It's been sitting in the microwave, so I'm gonna put it in for like 15 seconds since it's already warm, but not warm. Um, never mind, it has stuff in it. Oh, I saw it boiling myself, so I know it's boiling. Uh, and it turns into a paste. I'll show you what it looks like whenever I, it's fully incorporated oh it looks so good honestly like why does it look so freaking good that's what it looks like it's a, like a paste um next on our list is sugar flour and baking powder and then i'll add the eggs and butter after i sift the sugar whatever blah 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 in this don't you just love this setup uh it would be nice if I had measuring spoons. Two teaspoons baking powder. Three-fourths cup sugar. 
into one cup flour. Oh. Seems like it's only when I'm filming my cooking videos when I make messes. Um, come on now. Look at this. The lighting in here is so bad, but I can't really do anything about it. Anyway, I'm gonna sift this whole thing out and see how full it is. Wow. I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll see you whenever it's sifted. I'm such an idiot. I know these things, but I always forget them whenever I'm filming. I swear. Only when I'm filming. But I... I put the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. In case you didn't know, you're supposed to put wet ingredients in a, a large bowl, put the dry ingredients in a small bowl, and slowly add the dry ingredients, especially whenever you're gonna be using a hand mixer, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. I do have a solution. I just realized that this recipe doesn't call for any um, salt, which is weird. Um, anyway, luckily I didn't put all of the wet ingredients in the dry ingredients bowl. The only wet ingredients I put was the um, cocoa powder in water. So I, what I can do is I can transfer these, this, these dry ingredients to a different bowl and then Put, in, put the wet ingredients in this bowl, you know, do the whole shebang, but <sighs> don't really want to because that's a lot of work and I don't have a big enough bowl. I guess, well, I do, but I don't want to clean it. Actually, I think this one's clean. Yeah. Okay, this one's clean. Um, I have um, three-fourths cup butter of melted butter in here. One thing that you're supposed to watch out for when you're using melted butter is to make sure it's not too hot, especially if you have eggs in the recipe because if it's too hot, it can cook the eggs, which will make the batter kind of like curdled and gross. So I might have to wait a little bit for this to cool off, but honestly, I don't think it's too hot. Like it's warm, but I can dip my finger in it. So I think it's okay. By the way, yes, I did wash my hands or anybody's like, ew, you just dipped your finger in the butter. I wash my hands and I know proper hygiene things, so I obviously don't know grammar though. Whipping the uh, mixer add-ons out. Oh my God, I almost dropped that. Okay, sadly I don't have a stand mixer at my mom's, but I do have an electric mixer, which is fine um, for this recipe. Luckily the recipe does say that a hand mixer is the preference. So I'm excelling at things right now. I'm such an idiot. Um, so I'm gonna add the eggs, three eggs by the way, and then the three fourths cup of butter, which is a lot of butter. But um, I'm I think it's okay. I mean I know why because there's no milk in this recipe. And it's a pretty dry. Actually, it's not really. It's actually not that dry because there's only a cup of flour. Um, anyway, so I'm just gonna add, you can't even see it. I'm gonna break up the yolks and just combine them a little bit. Okay, so they're combined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slowly add in the dry ingredients. Um, Mainly, well, because I don't want lumps, and also because if you add it all at once, it'll create a cloud. So you just want to do it slowly so the flour doesn't shoot up at your face. Just a little bit. It was a little bit too much, but it's a deep bowl, so it's fine. This is the last bit. Mix it up. Okay, this batter is so good. So good by itself. And I don't know why. But it's like, it's so good. I swear, I literally... I can't. 
I swear, I think the batter is better than the actual cupcakes. I'm not joking. Okay, I'm gonna move you to the island. The um, height will be different because I don't have a tripod again. I've always been a little ice cream scoop hater, which is something I'm not proud of. Um, but I've I've come to understand the appreciation for ice cream scoops um, for for baking. Um, okay. You know what would be great, wonderful, and awesome is if I could find the cupcake tins. There we go. So I was considering making my own cupcake tins because uh, when I make muffins, I do, I do make little cupcake tins or muffin tins with the wax paper. But I decided that doesn't really go with doesn't really go with the whole cupcake aesthetic. So. I'm gonna use carpet tins in their pride. Should, should I use blue or purple? Oh, both. I'm gonna do both. Okay, that's okay, they're all in. I'm thinking maybe I should stand and not sit while I do this so you can actually see me. I'm gonna use one scoop per cupcake tin. Um, it's kind of a heaping scoop. About this much and it's uh really fills it and then if i have extra batter left over i'll put more in but like it fully fills the cup the, the tin so i think we'll be good um and luckily this batter doesn't really grow that much it pretty much stays the same so i don't have to worry about any spillage so I'm just gonna fill all these and I'll see you when they're done. Okay, sadly they didn't all fill, they didn't fill all of the cupcake tins, which is fine. The other ones that I made did, but that's because I used that other ice cream scoop and it's, I guess it holds a less. Um, anyway, I'm gonna put these in the, I almost said microwave, in the oven for I think 15 minutes. 18 to 22, I'm gonna put them in for 18 and then I'll check because usually my oven runs hot. Um, so I'm gonna put them in and I'll see you when they're done. Um, so I ate my words. Luckily, this batter doesn't really grow that much. Hold on, I'm gonna set a five minute timer for them to cool down. I ate my words. I don't know what happened this time, but they definitely grew a lot. Um, I don't know why, I don't know what happened but they did grow. Anyway, I'm gonna let them cool for five minutes and then I'll see you later. Should I eat this one? No, I won't. I want to, but I won't. Um, I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna add the raspberry jam. I poked a hole in the middle. and just fill it until it comes out the top. Okay, so I've already started frosting some of them, but they're all filled. This is the pre-made bag that I was talking about earlier. So here's how I do it. This is what my, what they look like. So I start in the middle, and then I kind of pull it over to the side. and go around the circumference and just keep going till I reach the top and then I stop and pull up like so it's really easy and just do that a little bit so okay they're all frosted and now I'm just gonna add some washed that has Okay, this is this one doesn't have mold so i'm gonna put just washed raspberries on top man they all like dang it have mold so only four of them have raspberries on top but that's okay that's okay and here is the final result I'll give you a, a pan over. 
Here we go. Look at those. Yes. Perfect. I'm gonna put them together. Ah. Okay. It's time for a taste test. I'm gonna put it in here just because it's easier to eat it with a fork. Good. Why did I just try to blow it? Mm, this one doesn't have a lot of raspberry filling. Mm, no, it does. That is so good. Oh my god. I can't. 10 out of 10, not to too mild form, but it's really good. So I totally recommend. And that's going to be it for the video. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll put, remember, I'll put the link in the subscription or in the description. Um, yeah, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.